And that brings us to Phylum rotifera. These guys are really small microscopic organisms. So here's a look at a rotifer underneath a microscope. Up at the top you have the corona, which are these circular things of cilia that beat in unison and pull food into the mastex, which is this grinding organ here in the very center. And then down at the bottom, down here, you have the foot, which attaches it to the substrate. more rotifers underneath the microscope. This is similar to what you would have seen in your lab sections. And then that brings us to phylum ectoprocta. These guys have a lophophore, which is a U-shaped organ with ciliated tentacles, and it's the organ you see in the background here. This is the lophophore. They also have a U-shaped digestive tract, so they have a mouth um, with a separate opening for the anus. Formerly these guys were called bryozoa, um, now they're considered phylum ectoprocta. They are hermaphroditic um, and they reproduce both sexually and asexually. And these guys have these unique um, structures called a statoblast that during times of desiccation or extreme temperature, they can produce these statoblasts. The statoblast will survive the extreme environment, and once the conditions have returned back to normal, will germinate. In so here's the general structure of an ectoprocta. You've got your So here's another look at a lophophore with its tentacles. Some ectoproctas have multiple lophophores, like this one here. You can see it has several crowns of tentacles covering its surface. This is a lacy ectoprocta, one of the ones that's often considered to be a moss animal because it does look kind of mossy-like. Here's a fan-shaped ectoprocta, and you can barely see them, but these little structures here would be those lophophores. Here's those structures up close. You can see how they're covered with little lophophores. Looks like lace. More lophophores. Here's another nice lophophore. Statoblasts are produced asexually to survive in harsh conditions and then germinate to produce a new adult. Notice the nice protective devices on the outside of this statoblast that allows it to survive those harsh conditions.